Yo, what is good? My anime people, what is good, yo? Guys, I apologize for anybody who went and watched my first video. I straight up had no audio on, so I truly appreciate the person that let me know. Um, but to know that I gotta redo it, the whole thing is pretty annoying. I have the audio. If you guys can let me know if there's a way to like unmute, nah, I don't even, it doesn't matter. Anyway, with this show of the insects being ridiculously oversized, we are getting quite a bit of nuance when it comes down to um, just this being a capable show of being out at this time period in this day and age of everybody being so sensitive. I feel like this show is doing that uh, taking out that sensitive boundary and just saying, ah, we don't care. We don't care. Like, we don't care what you guys feel. We don't care how you guys are seeing this, but we're going in, right? So, that is kind of how I felt when I was watching the, I guess, censored version, you can call it. The only thing censored about the movie is the fact that the, um, the things that don't show are the lower half of the women and men and if people get taken out in very very brutal ways that was the only thing that wasn't censored so everything else was fair game right like they just were like oh there's no reason to hide this and this with the black screen so that's pretty much how that went from there um but overall it's one of these things where in a show where you're left to fend for yourself and you got to figure out all these different things by yourself for yourself it's easy to find yourself getting taken out or easy to find yourself getting bopped because not only do you find yourself in a position where you have no gun you have no way of um, contacting anybody so you don't really know if you can reach out to anybody to get help you don't have you know, people who have been in this situation before seemingly besides one person and if that one person's gone or if you separate yourself from that person, you have no idea what's going to happen, you know, f further on. So, that's kind of the reason why this whole entire thing is sketchy to me because I... I like how things are going, but to be fair, every time I see, um, you know, like a certain character on screen that I feel like should not be there anymore, I was just getting so tired of seeing them continuously living somehow, but as of right now, I'm not sure how many episodes this was, I did look at episode one that was uncensored, and it wound up ending where uh, a lot of ticks are and a nest of ticks which was only about yeah like 23 something minutes in but they skipped a huge part of the landing and just seeing who the characters were who who was partnered up and stuff like that they skipped all of that in the episode one so if there's stuff that i talk about it's because it's part of a movie that was much much longer lasting than what we saw in just a single episode for some reason that came out but regardless of that it's seemingly looking like there's going to be a future for it like either another long hour long to finish it off which i wouldn't be too down about i think that would be kind of cool just like movie it all the way through um i would definitely see that um because of how it ended but with how all of this stuff really kicks off is a plane crashes and once they land two people meet each other because one person was completely you know like just terrified of all the possibilities that could have happened to her friend and this uh, for some reason this girl i'm talking about in particular is the one that's very knowledgeable about the insects very knowledgeable about uh, just like climates and stuff like that of where they are that the insects might migrate to different things like that which is cool um, the problem then lied with the people who she's trying to help pretty much like 
digging on her for even having this information in the first place. They're like, oh, you're a creep for that. Like, clearly, we, you can't be trusted because you have information. <laughs> you know, like, it was those types of people. You just can't wait to see what is their true fate at the end of the day. Even when they were kind of being nice to each other, they were kind of starting to, um, you know, understand that they need each other to survive. They then somehow mess it up even further somehow, I feel like, every single time in this show, uh, throughout this, you know, like, hour and a half special, so, it's those types of things that keep your mind kind of, like, not rooting for certain people to make it, but at the same time, if they don't make it, I feel like the main girl might feel even worse than she already does, because one thing about these shows that have a lot of nudity and have a lot of actual like gore and stuff that they are doing it for their own reasons at times like sometimes they think that it's necessary to show people being vulnerable because what happens as soon as there's nudity on the screen the women two women take full advantage of the situation of people being naked and you know not really being able to defend themselves as much as you know they try to when they have clothes or as long as as much effort it would take you know what i'm saying so it's like very very self-explanatory what they're going for once you have nothing on and you bearing it all to the world right so that was the big um part that i took out of it is just how are these people going about getting what they want and those two people that do this uh put themselves in positions where regardless of what happens they almost don't look like the bad person right they almost don't look like they're the ones who have pushed things to the worst and end up um you know end up trying to fit back in like hey it wasn't me that that's the guy you want he's the one who went through with most of the stuff that i didn't even think he would be doing like what the heck you know they always want to play that card and it'd be the same people who were begging them to take the role in the first place because They'll be the face of all the problems while you're in the background reaping, weeping the rewards, which goes for two people in, in particular. But the show is so good that it felt like it was slowly but surely showing me a third person doing that. And maybe she didn't mean to do it, but at the same time, that's the only reason why she's alive. So there's a lot of manipulation and power struggle throughout the characters in this situation, which seems really realistic you know like just the struggle of thinking you have to follow someone else's command and die by it uh if things do turn to the worst is a fear of a lot of people and another reason why people don't like conflict in general because what if you're the one who has to call the shots for people to do something and it doesn't end up too well right so that's that's a huge thing for people to uh not be able to deal with it in hindsight but other people act like they can deal with it because they don't have to, you know, think about it after some people just, you know, they just forget that that even happens, you know, so <clears throat> overall, I do look forward to seeing what everybody, <coughs> excuse me, is saying about this hour special because from seeing the ticks and the butterflies and the giant, like, hornet flying thing, it just leaves the imagination running wild as to what all is out there. What all insects are we going to run into? The wasp were by far the worst. And I think they were the worst for me because after seeing Rick and Morty recently, uh, I had learned just what it meant for, you know, what wasp can truly do, <laughs> you know, like, or what they really do. And just, that's just how it is. And then this show comes out, and it's just like, oh, by the way, it's that bad. Like, it's it's not only that bad, it's really, really, really bad. So, um, I, I really do look forward to um, seeing people who get what they deserve have that. But at the same time, just what the heck is going on? Why did this plane crash? Because uh, we saw nothing of the plane crash. We just saw someone waking up from it. And then the fact that uh, when the plane crashes, how come no one was actually like truly injured or seemingly dead just from the plane crash itself? 
and instead they all have to be taken out by these disgusting insects and whatnot so that's one thing that was really eluded from uh not only that that people have been living on this island already so it, it was an inhabited island and it's almost like the bugs came second um because if the uh, bugs were always there i highly doubt these humans would have been able to build uh while being in that type of hostile environment including a hospital and stuff like that right or maybe this place is like a reserve to allow these insects to run wild and see what would happen or you know, kind of like jurassic park but when these planes quote unquote crash these they're you know they're like feeding like because we see that there might be some type of community that actually is living in houses and actually is alive in this world of insects over this island um but it doesn't it, it's at the very 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 end and you don't even have any understanding of what they could have been doing this whole time how are they living in a house where we've seen how the houses are the wasp is the wasp is pfft, the wasp have no problem moving into a human's home if they can you know set up shop there and it's less work for them to just set up there and then just set a couple cocoon holes outdoors so they can fly in and out much quicker. It's pretty dark, uh, this show, and how they just go about showing us what all of them are going to continuously do to get out of uh, harm's way or to put others in harm's way before them so they at least have a chance to run, panic. I'm talking as soon as something bad was happening, you start seeing the true colors of the characters once they're close to death and then all of a sudden when death isn't at their door they're very calm they're very they're very meticulous you know they have these very good ideas all of a sudden that they can see clearly now that they're not in trouble but then as soon as you put them in trouble they're all freaking out and trying to push someone behind them so they can live it's, it's, it's such a brilliant way of showing human emotion in such a panic state i love it um the other problem with that though is the girl who is so intelligent that she knows just so much about insects and the other thing is everybody who is very helpful everybody who has some type of uh gif in the case of this situation and just being helpful and if you have them alive they would be mad uh like resourceful but those are the first people to go almost every time without a hitch it was like oh this person knows by looking up in the air you know where they are how far they might be and stuff like that oh she's got to go oh this guy can work computers and all this stuff i thought he was god i was like bruh you know how to work computers you're you're doing stuff too well you're dead and what happens to him he ends up finding something that freaks him out so much that he screams and they just pretty much write him off as dead like they didn't get any indicator that he was dead they just didn't go check on him because other stuff happened at the same time seemingly which we see parasites uh that could get inside your body from your hand work its way all the way up to your brain and start to control you and pretty much do whatever the heck it wants which is why we see the most dangerous predator and the most brutalist death that actually had to be fully like uh censored in the movie like it was there was barely you could see the legs of the guy and that was it everything else was censored so it kind of goes to show you how much detail went into that one kill um which i think might be redundant for some people so there is that inkling of um you know my thoughts in the show is that some of the blood and gore is going to be much for people that are just trying to see a show that has some giant insects and how their habitats are as being giants but what you really got to see is humans being dumb and using all of the wrong advantages on people to still fall in a disadvantage but the thing about the girl who knows everything that kind of slows down the story in the case of everybody would have been wiped out already if she didn't exist um she loves these animals she absolutely wishes the best for these insects she is a fan she wants to be close to them but now that they're so angry or so hungry because we hear that there's no birds there's no other tiny insects on the ground 
there's nothing in the whole entire island besides what they're saying and then these giant wings that's when they start flapping this sounds like a helicopter and they think they're safe like oh my god a helicopter's coming <laughs> nope it's just a wasp <laughs> like this is the most sketchy things we are going to be seeing uh in the show because now that i feel like a lot of characters are taken out a lot of characters jumped at the whim to try to save people ended up dying uh some people thought they could just abandon others and be in a safe place when they weren't um there's so many different deaths and different but like insects doing the killings that uh for instance like the ticks and just how many of them were there and it reminded me of like some uh the mummies when they're in the tombs and the scarab beetles something along those lines man like there's just a lot of that stuff in this first like quick uh first half of this or part one of part four i don't know man it feels like they're really optimistic about this whole three days and they're going to be saved type of deal. So that's also kind of my weird uh, feeling about this whole thing is not only did they get in a plane crash and land here, but for some reason they automatically just know in three days they're going to be saved. And not only that they're going to be saved, <clears throat> that they are just going to make it out knowing about all these bugs knowing about all this stuff popping off they're like yeah three days and we'll be good three days and they'll send help so i don't remember anything being like hello yes kids three days and we'll be able to get support to you <laughs> over like there was nothing of the sort it's just this girl who loves insects who also now that we got to the hospital part and you know uh, talking about just how the parasite brought the most deadliest predator we've seen in the show as of the hour special. Um, we get to hear that this woman, this girl who knows all this insects and stuff, who crash landed on this island, who clearly didn't know where the heck she was like everybody else because she's trying to use the GPS just to figure out the climate so she knows where the insects are going to migrate to. All of that, but somehow she then at the end of us all says hmm i think i know the perfect place we can stay and the camera pans in just zooms in on this little tiny spot which a here's my thing either a it's the base she's talking about she knows exactly where they need to go or b it zoom it's the camera's just panning out a couple times and it shows us the hospital they're in and then it pans out again and then it shows the island I would understand the second thing, but if she has an idea of exactly where to go and that they'll make it through for the time being, and they're in a hospital where they just killed the one threat that was supposedly in the, or at the hospital, but she says that the insects are going to be coming, so how does she know the insects will come to this location? Is that something that they do when they migrate? Did this big insect dying have something to do with more insects showing up? Like, what, what is she going off of on that case? And then all, after that, she says she knows somewhere to go on a place where she doesn't even know if this ab island was inhabited on, right? Like, this is a, this is, everything is new to her, and she knows something about this place. That's a red flag. But with all that being said, my anime people, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Um, this thing felt like three episodes to me, just because it was an hour and a half so there was a part where we i watched the first episode and it stops at the ticks like i was saying and that was around like 22 23 minutes in and then it went for another like good 55 60 minutes so that's quite a bit for them to show if they did want to break this down in episodes ever you'll know why that i don't have it uh like that just because I've already view them just like uh, plunderers when it came out with episode one I didn't do a review on it because I have episode one and two uh, on the channel because it came out as a special so stuff like that I do it just so it's more convenient and easier to find for my anime people even if people want to call me a clickbaiter and I have review on the title I can't really change that guys I and I really don't care either I mean the worst thing that's going to happen is someone's going to try to shut down my channel by being salty or whatever the heck is the case. And then just like any other person on this platform, I could just make another channel. So 
whatever, I'll make another one. There's some real people that actually want to hear my opinions and not only hear my opinions, actually hear what I had to say on this video because I had it muted like an idiot. So thank you so much. Shout out to that person. Uh, your name only had line underscores on it. So underscore, underscore, space, underscore, underscore. You're a real one. <laughs> that sounded weird coming out. But yeah, thank you. And everybody have an awesome one. I'll be talking to you as soon as possible. I just hope I'm not muted again, even though I tested out the audio and stuff. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Alright, let me know what you guys are thinking about this island of insects. It is the most brutalist, nastiest thing we've gotten in quite some time when it comes down to showing gore, showing nudity, and then after all of that, still having a plot that kept me interested enough in just figuring out what's going to happen on this island can anybody survive and if someone does survive uh will they have to pretty much just use this insect girl throughout the whole entire thing or will she turn out to be one of the reasons why they're there and it's like a game to her or something so well that being said everybody have an awesome one and peace oh i picked this guy because he's a chimera ant and what is the strongest insect that I've probably ever seen in anime is Metawom, the Kamir ant. So if you didn't know that, go watch Hunter x Hunter, please, and you'll understand. So with that, peace. I am an ant. Oh, bye. Let's just do a grab.